Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Going into the third part out of four of the Mass of Fukushima update. If you're seeing them out of order, it makes no difference whatsoever. Um, brought to you now on Opera News. Thrilled about that, by the way. World Nuclear News, monitoring radiation on land and sea. All right, friends, I have mentioned this fact on this show a million times. And I know for certain that a billion other people smarter than me have probably done so. But, or I know so. But amphibians, frogs, reptiles, ribbits, those sorts of things. If people are dumb, you have to speak. Um, they absorb things through their skin and they are in constant uh, direct contact with the environment. If something is absorbed into a frog, for instance, there's a very good chance that it's going to be absorbed into your mushrooms. I try to avoid mushrooms. Delicious lasagna the other day. Shout out to Ferraro's. Did not do the mushrooms. Very rare. Very rare. Why? Because they soak up radiation like a sponge. Um, Japanese laboratories monitoring radionuclides in seawater, marine sediment, and fish near the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant continue, it says, to produce reliable data, according to new International Atomic Energy Agency report. Aren't we supposed to listen to the science? They tell we follow the science. You're not supposed to follow the science when it shows what happened with Fukushima and what's continuing to go on, though, are you? Meanwhile, TEPCO, who's GE, who you should never invest in, not even in a mutual fund, get out of it if you're in it, plans to rear fish in treated radioactive water from the plant to demonstrate its safety. A University of Georgia study has been shown that radioactive contamination in the Fukushima exclusion zone can be measured through its resident snakes. Let me break this down to you, because otherwise what I just read to you put you to sleep, but believe me, it's going to wake you up really quick. Like cold water in the crotch after you're sleeping in an electric blanket kind of wake up. What they are saying is, originally, we said that there was no radiation in the environment. No radiation is seeping into anything at all. We have Fukushima perfectly contained. Okay, you've got Fukushima perfectly contained. Suddenly, people started finding in tests that it's being absorbed into animals, into plants, into vegetables. What's going on here? Now, they're going to raise the animals in the radioactive water to prove how safe it is, because since they were wrong the first time, about there not being any radiation in the environment. Now you're supposed to believe, just shut up and eat your Fukushima peaches. We'll get to that next. Just shut up and eat your poison food because we're going to show you with our bunk science that it's safe. Here's the problem with that. They're going to say it's safe if they don't get sick a year from now. And then when they develop a cancer 15 years down the road, they'll be, it can't, couldn't have been that Fukushima fish that we grew in the radioactive water. Must have been something else. Yeah. Did you eat a lot of meat? Yep. Well, that's probably did it. What? For one thing, that's one, of the, <clears throat> that's one of the ways that meat is toxic to begin with. Uh, let me find this. It can, um, I'll, just, I'll just read it. And the IEEA has since 2014 organized missions to support the collection of marine samples for interlaboratory comparisons for radioactivity analysis. The first phase of the Marine Monitoring Confidence Building and Delta Quality Assurance Project covered the years 2014 to 2016. It found that Japan produced reliable data on marine samples near nuclear, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. In the second phase of the project, the IAEA carried out a range of activities. 
focused on marine monitoring data quality, including interlaboratory comparisons of seawater, sediment, and fish samples collected in four sampling missions conducted in 2017 and from 2017 to 2020 near the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Um, following these LLCs, the IAEA can confidently report that Japan's sample collection procedures follow the appropriate methodological standards required to obtain samples. 97% of the results were not significantly different from each other, and this shows that the participating Japanese laboratories have the capacity to accurately analyze the samples. So what's the impact on marine life? Um, they concluded that the contaminated water is treated by advanced liquid processing, ALPS, which does not get out tritium, and it removes most radioactive contamination. This treated water is currently stored in tanks. Um, what about reptilian? So they looked at um, the hatching rate, and they noticed that the, they have planned to continue after this has been discharged to see if it changes. So they don't yet have the study in from the aquatic life, not in this particular study. We've shown other ones. Dana Dunford did a great one. But the study from the University of Georgia has shown that radioactive contamination around the Fukushima plant could be measured through tracking snakes. Rat snakes, it says, travel short distances and can accumulate high levels of radionuclides, making them an effective bioconductor of resid residual radioactivity, meaning they're spreading it all over the place. According to the researchers, the snake's limited movement and close contact with contaminated soil are key factors in the ability to reflect the varying levels of contamination. Tracked snakes were found to move on average of 65 meters per day. So think about this. They're going from contaminated areas to where they're planting these wonderful Fukushima peaches. The team tracked nine snakes using a combination of GPS transmitters and manual high-frequency tracking. The researchers identified 1,718 locations of snakes. And uh, earlier it was birds that were moving it around from, of course, pollination. And it's, bees were moving radiation around. You would think that wouldn't be significant but one small particle of radiation delivered by a rat snake or by a bee to an area where it can be breathed in when the, uh, the, the farm is tilled and it's kicked into the air. This is not good, friends. This is simply not good. Share the video. Get this out. There's one more installment left on today's Maso Fukushima update, and it'll be posted next. Good night. God bless.